Hi guys, are you ready to sweat? Because it is beast mode cardio day. And I have designed this workout. I think it's going to be super fun and it's going to be a sweat fest. Each one of these stars right here represents a three minute section. So the, the three minutes will be the first minute is riding in the saddle of the bike, but I'm gonna let you know what to do if you don't have a spinner, so don't worry. You can do this entire workout, I promise you, without equipment, okay? So just hang with me, I'm gonna show you how to do each thing without. So each one of these stars represents three minutes, and it's a minute in the saddle, a minute running out in position third on the bike, and a minute skipping, and then you move to the exercise. We're gonna use the BOSU, a plyo box, the oogie ball, and a skipping rope, but I swear you don't need any of them, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through these things, and then we're gonna start over and go through them again. 32 minutes straight, minute intervals with no rest. So the transition from getting off of the bike and going to the exercise, or going to the skipping rope, it just is what it is. So hustle, okay? Hustle back forth, that's it's all cardio, right? That's the whole deal. That's the whole idea of cardio. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna show you just real quick so that you believe me. Um, okay, so if you don't have a bike, which many of you don't, so if you don't have a bike, you can either do the entire three minutes skipping, and so you'll do a moderate pace for the first minute and then pick it up because we'll be running on the bike. So you wanna pick up your intensity for the second minute of skipping and then go back to a moderate skipping for the third minute. If you don't have a skipping rope, you can do high knees, okay? So you just high knees in place like this. Three minutes is a long time to do high knees, so it's a cardio workout. Do high knees, do burpees, do anything that keeps your heart rate up for those three minutes, okay? So after that three minute segment, okay, cycle and skipping, we're gonna go to BOSU up and overs. So your one foot is up on the BOSU ball, and you're going to launch, skip to the other side, going, going. But guess what? I can do it without. <laughs> Jumping side to side. You just replace where this foot is with this foot and jump down, jump down. Side lateral jumps, okay? Down. Plyo box, you can use a stair in your house, a chair, anything that is stable so you're safe. Okay, so I'm going to be jumping up on the plow backs and I'm praying that I can do it for a minute. Um, so if you don't have anything stable, you're like, I have nothing to plow on, then do jump squats, okay? So you're down in the jump, jump, down, jump, down, jump. So you're still jumping with me, okay? Uh, what else are we doing? Oogie burpees, the oogie ball. We're gonna jump up, go down, bring it back and press over and over for a minute. If you don't have an oogie ball, just simply do burpees, regular burpees, okay? So, I think that's it. Oh, there's also mountain climbers on the wall, which, <laughs> if you don't have a wall, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So, mountain climbers on the wall. If you don't have a wall to elevate yourself, then just do mountain climbers on the ground, like this. Mountain climbers regular, okay? No, re no equipment required, let's go. I'm gonna start this up. When I press go, it's 32 minutes of crazy cardio. I'm going to speak and encourage you as much as I can, but I'm gonna go for it and I want you to go for it too. Okay, all right, three seconds, I'm getting on my bike. If you don't have a bike, start with your jump rope, okay? All right, so we're on our spinners. We're gonna start the first minute in the saddle, like this, so you're climbing at a moderate pace in the saddle. Your dial, everyone's bike is gonna have a different dial. So I want you to gauge, on a scale of one to 10, I want you to be at like an eight. So you really have that push. Really have that push, nice relaxed arms. Just breathe, relax, and push, push. And you, this first time through, you're just sort of warming your body up. Push, push, push. And I sincerely have an eight, okay? So scale of one to 10, an eight means that there's an effort every pedal stroke. And we're gonna stay in the saddle. When that chime bings in 15 seconds, we're gonna tap it up to a nine or even a 10 and come out of the saddle and climb like we're climbing a hill, okay? Breathe. Abs 
held in tight so you could lift your hands if you wanted to. All right, I'm going to crank it up and come out of the saddle. And I'm climbing. In a cycling class, someone might call this running. So sometimes I call it running, running out of the saddle. Now, if you don't have a bike and you're on a jump rope, this is where you're going. You're faster. You're picking up your pace. Or you're doing a more advanced type of jump. You know, you're doing out side squat jumps or something. And if you have zero equipment, you're doing high knees or you're doing burpees, okay? When that time goes in 20 seconds, I'm jumping off and I'm gonna grab my jump rope, okay? With a true nine or 10, your legs will already be burning, mine are, okay? Breathe. Pushing, pulling, every pedal stroke. Here we go. Transition, what? Jump rope. Here we go. Straight in, guys. <coughs> Cardio beast mode. We're in the third minute and I can barely speak already. Oh, what do we have in store, folks? If you were jumping the entire time, I want this round, the third round of your skipping, to be less intense than the last, okay? The first thing we're doing are BOSU up and overs, and if you don't have a BOSU ball, then you're just gonna jump side to side, okay? And go down into a squat. You guys are gonna have to deal with my labored breathing while I talk to you throughout this. I'm going for it. Goes down. We're going to both two side to side. Here, up and over. Up. Stay with it. The legs are going to start burning. Breathe. And again, if you don't have the bosu, you're just jumping side to side, replacing where one foot is with the other. Keep your chest up tall. Don't bend forward like this, okay? Make it all about weight in the heels. Pushing up. Go. What are we doing right after this, guys? Do you know the drill? Going back on the bike, okay? Now remember when we got off the bike, we were cranked to a 10. So you're gonna take your resistance down a little bit for the saddle minute. I'm slowing down. Come on, sir. Pick it up. Okay. Jumping back on. Oh, can't even turn it. Okay, breathe. All right, guess what that means? We did three minutes of cardio um, on the bike, skipping, and the fourth minute on the exercise. We're four minutes in already. Isn't that fantastic? I feel pretty good about it. Okay, so you're on a straightaway, pushing and pulling, Feeling every pedal stroke. If you're just cruising, chasing the flywheel, you need to add more resistance, okay? Breathe. 20 seconds, and we're gonna crank it up and come out and run. The running out of the saddle should be your most intense of the three minutes next to the star, okay? So no bike. I want you to pick your most intense non-equipment cardio move. If that's a burpee, you're doing burpees right now. Okay, if you've got a bike, come on out with me and run. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure your arms are nice and relaxed. You're breathing from your diaphragm. Awesome. Breathe. At this point, I'm really pushing, so the talking is limited. Breathe. What's our next exercise? We're going to skip, right? If you were already skipping, you're going to take your intensity lower. In eight seconds. Also, if you've got a treadmill, many of you have a treadmill, 
You can do these intervals on the treadmill, okay? Jumping off or skipping rope. If you have a treadmill, simply up your pace that second minute. Increase the speed of your treadmill, increase the um, incline of your treadmill for that minute. Whatever it is for you, that you can get that heart rate really going. And then for this minute, take it down just a tiny bit. You don't want to let your heart relax and rest. Just take it down a tiny bit because these are intervals, okay? Skipping is much less intense than running in the saddle, so we want to simulate, want you doing the same thing that I'm doing, okay? Breathe. If you guys are wondering what this little footwork thing I do is, <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> it's just how I skip, it's how I roll. If I don't do it this way, I don't do it at all. And I skip up everywhere. Oh, where am I going? Box jumps. Woo! Box jumps and a prayer. Right, here we go. So glad I only have to do this for a minute. Remember, no plyo box. You're on the stairs. You're on a chair. You are squat jumping for a solid minute. Because you've got to be as intense as this, right? This is pretty intense. Use your arms. This would be a lot harder without arms because I'm using it to propel me up. Five seconds. Where am I going? Back on the bike. Back on the bike in the saddle. I'm taking my resistance down so I can pedal. Yeah, sweating already. Something fierce. Okay, now, in the saddle does not mean rest, right? In the saddle, like right now, a little too easy for me. So, again, scan your body. Make sure that you are in a scale of one to 10, at least an eight, okay? So when that finger goes, the binger. <laughs> when the bell chimes in 24 seconds, you only have to crank it a little bit and come on out. Okay? Are you on your treadmill? If you are, I want you jogging at least. And then when the time goes, you're gonna run. Okay? There's a difference. No jogging in the round in the second minute. Okay? Four seconds. Are you ready? I'm gonna crank it right now. Crank. Crank. Bring it up. Go. Keeping your arms relaxed the whole time. I don't wanna see this, right? None of this. We don't want. Super tight muscles giving you a tension headache during my workout. Zero tension in the neck. Just relax it. You should feel the muscles through your entire leg through this minute. You are cranking at a nine or a 10, okay? What are we doing next? Skipping. What are we doing after skipping? Woo! We're doing wall mountain climbers. Breathe. One second. All right, we're skipping guys. Let's do it, let's do it. Straight in. Take that intensity down on your treadmill. If you're doing high knees, take it to a march, okay? Keep the heart rate going. We are not stopping for 32 minutes. We're not stopping, we're not giving up. You're not gonna pause. Breathe. I have a water bottle behind me. There's no stopping in this workout, but I'm going to try to remember to hydrate. So I may take a little sip as I'm transitioning. I want you to do that too, okay? You gotta listen to your body. You need water. And we're gonna do a lot of sweating. So, breathe. 10 seconds and we're going to the wall. Whatever do you mean, Sarah? I need to show you. 
Okay. I'm gonna push the bow shoe up, bow shoe out of the way until round two. Going up. Oh, can you handle it? Run them, run them. If you don't have a wall or if you're thinking I'm crazy, then I want you doing mountain climbers on the ground, okay? I might be marking up my wall and you're gonna see it in every video for the next week. <laughs> Just proving the real time. <laughs> Breathe. Come on. Stay with it. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah.
Grandma. Guess what we're doing? Back on the bike. Take the resistance down. And we're in the saddle with an eight. Take a breath, guys. You're halfway. Behind your eight. Go. Again, loose arms. You have your body at this 45 degree angle, but you're not leaning. You want to be able to lift your arms and your core is holding you up. You're kind of at an angle where you can't see uh, how bent over I am, but I want you to be at a 45, okay? And just nice and gently rest those arms, okay? For balance. If you want to challenge your body, you can take it behind and work to your core. Make sure you're pressing your chest up tall and you have a nice straight back. We've got 10 seconds until the run. If you're starting to fade, stay with me. Tell yourself I made it like a boss through the first half. I'm gonna kick this next half, but out we go. Oh, that was a lot. Here we go. I should pay attention when I'm cranking that thigh. Yeah. This is a crazy hill. Awesome, we got it, we got it. If you're on a treadmill, you better crank up that incline for me. Come on, let's get up this hill together. Get up that hill. Do not stop. Think about someone in your life that motivates you. Someone that you've seen, heard about, and you say, that person can do this than I can. Okay? That's what you need to do when you find yourself in a moment of struggle or doubt. You think about that person and you say, oh my, they can do it, so can I. Right? We're blessed to have bodies that work. Let's work them. Skipping. We are well into the second half, folks. Oh, didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work, and that's okay. So, if you need a more advanced skip, Sometimes people skip with their legs like this. I certainly can't do it. But you can do double unders where you take the rope twice underneath your feet before you touch down. You can do one leg for the first minute, another leg, and then do high knees or butt kicks like this. Just mix it up. You don't need a bike. You don't need a treadmill. Just need a rope or your butt. Now, I said the second time through that I wasn't going to talk about the alternatives, but I just want to make sure you guys stay with me. Stay with me. What are we doing? Do you remember? I do. Those two up and overs. Here we go. Go. This is kind of fun. Be a kid. Jump on the ball. Jump on the ball. Keep your chest high. Make sure that you're sinking. Your legs into a bend, not your back bending over. Kids would love this, right? Be a kid, it's in there. Your kid is in there. Work it, enjoy it. Have you ever done a cardio workout like this? I haven't. This is the first time with this. Um, type of routine, this organization. Here we go. So far, so good, right? Take resistance down. The fact that I can't pedal means that I had a really high hill last time I was on this bike. Okay, you know what? It just occurred to me that I should have my water bottle on the bike because I was just drink it without stopping. Maybe I'll put it over after the next skipping. Breathe. How are we doing? Yeah? Yeah. Breathe. Take a moment. You got 20 seconds here in the saddle. Scan your body. If it's not an eight, find the eight. Don't waste your time. You don't get these minutes of life back, guys. You're making the most of them. We don't get them back. Uh-uh. Here we go. I'm cranking. Okay. Here we go. It's so true. You know.
know, sometimes when my schedule's crazy and I'm going, I'm going, and I come home and I sit down on the couch and I fall asleep. I sleep for like an hour. And I wake up and I go, ah! Like I don't get those minutes back. These minutes right now, you don't get back, so make the most of them. I don't want you to stress out about it, but just make sure that you, since you committed to do this with me, that you're doing it, okay? Nobody's watching, nobody's sitting on the couch going, wow, she sweats a lot. No, no, it's not about me working hard, it's about you working hard. And I am working hard, by the way. Jumps are next. Well, we gotta skip first. We don't need this anymore, so we're gonna launch it. Okay. Oh, take a second. All right, go. Took a second to catch my breath, but I didn't stop. A cardio workout is really your cardiovascular system and your respiratory system. It's called cardio respiratory. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're breathing, make sure that you're breathing well, breathing from your diaphragm, not hyperventilating yourself, but not holding your breath. I've come across a lot of clients that hold their breath during pikes or burpees and it just can't bring oxygen to the muscles and that's what you need. Okay, we're going to mountain climbers on the wall. 
I'm gonna start down here and see what I can do. All right? Oh, yep, we're sliding. Okay, we're going down here. Jump. You guys know mountain climbers, right? Just switching your feet from the front to the back. This is harder. <laughs> I'm sliding all over the place. Maybe if I get in here. So you have to work with what you have. I'm slipping, so I found an alternative, and it is not easier. Let me tell you. It's easier, but it's safe. it's not easier, but it's safer. You guys are almost done. This is flying by for me because it's fun. We're doing lots of different stuff. I'm not on the bike for a straight 30 minutes. I'm not I'm skipping rope. Dear heavens, no, for 30 minutes. I want to say, I don't know if I could, but I don't like to say that because if you think you can't do something, you can't. But if you talk to yourself and you tell yourself you can, then you can, right? Where the mind goes, the body will follow. It's the truth. It is the truth. What are we doing next, guys? We're gonna run next, then we're gonna skip, and then we're gonna do oogie burpees. Breathe. Crank it up. Oh, am I a sweat fest right now? I'm slipping. This is taking core strength just to hold me on the bike right now. I'm easy on the handlebars, see? Just easy. Using all your weight just right over your pedals. Push. Oh, my hamstrings are burning right now. My quads are burning. It's glorious. Oh, come on, pick up your pace. Run up that hill with me. Go, right now. Right now. When something gets harder for me, I just push harder, right? Come on. I got it. I got it. Eight seconds. You got this. Go. Go. Never thought you'd want to skip so bad, right? Oh, so excited to skip. Oh, okay. My goodness. Go. <laughs> okay, so I'm skipping, and then I have oogie burpees, and I just looked at my timer, and it says I have minutes remaining, so I'm wondering if I missed something. You guys are like, wouldn't be the first time. skipped a run or something. Okay, I'm slipping, so I'm going directly to burpees. Next time I'll wear my gloves. Three seconds, two, one. Okay, this says I have a minute remaining. So we're gonna cool down on the bike for a minute, okay? 
If you don't have a bike right now, I want you to march in place, okay? I took this down to a six. And we're just gonna pedal. Oh. Well, I'm human. Something happened somewhere along the way. Hopefully you came with me and you're getting this cool down minute, right? Is what it is. Is what it is. I can tell you that you worked if you did it. And you're not missing that minute, right? I'm not. Feels like 40. You guys doing the 40 with me this Friday? Oh yeah. Challenge on. <clears throat> Breathe. Activity completed. I kind of think that that was, that last minute was a gift because you really do, it's really important to cool down and let your heart rate gradually drop instead of, we're going crazy, we're moving, no rest, and then boom, activity completed and you just stop. That's a recipe for disaster. So keep marching with me, pacing back and forth, breathe, relax your shoulders. Make sure you're drinking some water and just take your time. I hope you enjoyed beast mode cardio. I certainly did. See you guys tomorrow.